It's Corbin. He's like you, but he's a dog. A big one. There he is. Hi, potato. Some sort of a maternal instinct kicks in with him, and he becomes such a gentle giant around the kittens. When Corbin and Potato first met, Potato looked like he was three days old. Because Potato did not have a mom, he hadn't grown. So Corbin was acting like a surrogate mother. Corbin was helping me foster So I would feed Potato, I'd hand him over to Corbin, Corbin would clean him up, then they'd snuggle together and Corbin would keep him warm. So that kitten and Corbin had a different kind of bond. Potato was just kind of like, oh well, this giant warm furry thing must be my mom. He just settled in and was pretty relaxed around Corbin. As Potato got older, he changed quite quickly. His size was still small, but his personality was huge. He's playing with your tail. He'd start doing these zoomies all around the room. When he pushes my little dog around all the time, Potato would pounce at him. Corbin's always kind of keeping an eye on Potato and George. If they get too aggressive with each other, he goes running over there to interject. But little Potato rules the roost. He goes where he wants, when he wants. Hey, buddy. Potato. Yeah, hi. The more Potato's personality came out, the more I realized what a special cat he was. I was just convinced that he needed to stay with us, which isn't like me because we've definitely fostered over 150 kittens. I foster, we find them homes, and that's the process. But he was so full of personality. He's got spunk, he's sweet, he's affectionate. I decided he's staying with us, we're not giving him back. He always thought that he was one of the family and when we decided it, we were just late to the party. So I'm incredibly grateful for having Corbin right from the beginning because Corbin kept him warm, he kept him entertained, he kept him company. They love each other and yet one's a 160 pound Great Dane and the other one's a two pound cat right now. <laughs>